What's going on everyone? Yes, it is another tour review and yes, the woman that stands in front of you is a Wind Ranger from a video game called Dota 2. Now, I never played this video game before, so I'm actually just going to base this figure off of just looks alone and what I think about the figure itself. I'm not going to really compare it to the game because I have no clue. I'll leave that up to y'all to actually make that decision if you feel like it actually gave the game justice. But, this figure here is made by Figma. And uh, as always, let's go ahead and jump into the tour review and see what this figure has to offer and look at details. So as always, 360 view first. Now, I must say, the face scope on this is really, really nice. It's nice and clean. The eyes ain't cockeyed. It just looks good. They did a really good job, even when it down to the hair. The hair is one particular tone, so it doesn't have, like, shadows going through it. It's just mainly... Um, the way that the hair is designed is just casting a shadow to kind of give a more texture look. But as for the clothes, they did a really nice job. Figma did it really nice. Like everything is really just clean cut. Really nice paint job. Let's back her up a bit. Like I said, paint job just nice and clean. Even from the skin tone to the actual clothes itself. It's not a... Um, it's no paint smudge or anything of that nature. Like I said, they did a really good job. What I've noticed with Figma... They have so many different licensing going on right now, which I think is dope because, I mean, we always get into something new. Um, and I'm actually kind of happy that some of these toys, they be killing me. So I'm actually good. I'm, I'm actually a lot uh, pleased with the releases that's coming out. I have, I think, my last real main release that's coming from Figma where I don't have to worry about killing my pockets. I can take a break. Um, the end of the Berserk line of figures is coming out. And I am going to have my last two, or last four rather, from Berserk. And I'll be done with my Berserk line unless they pull like Zod out or um, Skull Knight. So I'm really, really hoping that uh, it's coming to an end. Not because I don't want the other characters, but I just really want this stuff to be over with so I can move on to something else. Uh, the Giver line is picking up, so we may see more Giver toys. So pretty much, a lot of the toy lines have been killing my pockets. I don't really got to be concerned about them anymore. So, that part, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of selfish about it. I'm kind of happy that it's coming to that point. But, I actually picked this character up because I just thought it looked really, really cool. And I got the the anti-mage as well. I'll be doing a review review on that as well so y'all can see how that look. So that's your full 360. As for height comparison, this Wind Ranger is actually pretty short. Really, really short. She kind of puts me in the mind state of the the Fig MacGyver. Because if you look at this uh, Fig guts, I'll put him behind her. So you can actually see exactly how far he towers over her. Like, massive figure. Even when you look at this Aaron here. They're pretty huge. And I think this particular line of Figma is a lot smaller anyway. Because looking at the height comparison of the Anti-Mage alongside her actually is pretty short as well so he's not going to be too far up there he'll be like a smidget taller alright so that's your height comparison as for accessories this wind ranger only really comes with a single weapon which is kinda I don't know if that's the thing in the game so I won't necessarily speak on it in a bad manner but it just seemed like she should have came with a lot more she comes with her quill which holds her arrows of course that's on attached on her back and what I'll do I'll move her hair out the way so y'all can kinda see that 
it's a really simple paint job it looks nice it's sleek but that's held in with a peg that's on a single hinge and then she has her bow of course the bow itself has a hand sculpted directly onto it so you don't have to actually try to fight with this which I think is kinda nice it just makes your life a little bit easier you just throw the hand on it you're good to go and the hand is pretty easy to actually uh, put onto the peg paint job is really nicely done to it so you get that you get one single arrow that she can hold as well nice little design nice and clean this arrow is actually pretty firm so you don't got to worry about it breaking from a drop or something simple like that she comes with a different face plate where it's really meant for her and the arrow because she's looking off to the side still really really clean looks really nice and then she has a total of seven hands. So she has the hands that you've seen on her, which is on this rack, which I'll show it to you real quick. She got a relaxed hand. She has, I don't know what the hell hand that is. It's just a gripping hand for whatever reason. And then she has her arrow hand. And then she has a ball of fist, and that's it. So that's all our hands right there. Now as for articulation, this figure is pretty nice. So there we go. You can get this much of a look down without using the neck, which is actually really good if you use the neck. Oh actually. I'm sorry, you don't have a neck joint. She just have a really strong ball joint. So she can look practically all the way down, going up. Not too much due to her hair. Her hair actually kind of prevents that. Her hair is actually on a swivel slash hinge. Or pegged in rather, so it can be posed. You can make it blowing, whatever you like to do. You can look your left and right without a problem. That's not an issue at all. This piece right here. It's actually up. Oh, her hairline fell off. Um, this piece that's around her neck definitely has some movement, so you don't got to worry about it being hindering uh, due to posability. And I think if you actually remove, well, I just left it in because, like I said, it was a headache. But if you remove this, you should be able to actually take all of this off and have her without this if you wanted to. Or actually, since we're talking about this, this has a hinge on the peg. This can be swivel side to side as well. So you can actually get some nice poses with this, action poses. On her shoulder joints, these are on their own separate hinge as well. So these can turn, lift up. This one can do the same. Yep. The ones that's on her arm is actually molded directly onto her body. So that is not going nowhere. As for her arms, they're on hinges, but she get a nice range. Like I said, nothing is really hindering her. Uh, she can do the swivel all the way around. Nice bend. Single hinge on the peg here. That can spin around. Hand really can't go back because her gauntlet kind of prevents that. And then, going down to the waist. About that much tilt. You know, not too much. Going forward, not too much. Back, you get a nice bend back, but obviously you get the gap. Oh yeah, and her head, her tilt on her head is, eh, is okay. Nothing too crazy. Now, all of these are movable parts, so like I said, once again, this is not hindering nothing. So I actually like that a lot. So you can rotate the waist if you want. Uh, she really don't have any uh, movement really in the waist going like, you know, forward and back like she got a little bit but not much legs on a ball joint but they do get really nice range single hands knee of course but you can get some really dynamic poses out of her going down to the foot obviously this is on a hinge really nice range on the foot itself and then you got a toe joint 
which is nice and stiff. You don't got to worry about it getting loose on you. So, yeah. Uh, I picked this up just because, like I said, this was a cool looking figure. So, I just went ahead and grabbed it. And I must say, like, it's really cool. So, if you actually like this particular game and you're a fan of it, well, they have characters out now and you can collect them if you like. Um, they do come with a card. Almost look like a postcard, like an art card, which is really nice. That's in the box, uh, taped to the inside. I'll show that to you. Actually, almost, I didn't even know they had this. The only reason why I found out they had it was because hers was taped to the box a little bit higher. So when I opened up her box, I seen it. Where on the anti-mage, I actually did not see here. So I didn't even know existed until I just happened to open the box so I'll show this to you real quick if you take this part out you pull that and then there's the actual key code that you can use I guess to get certain items in the game or whatever hold on one second So that's the art card. Um, that's the key code here. And then that's the artwork there. So this is a nice little touch. You get that in the box. So just make sure you look out for that because it will be in there. Hopefully nothing is damaged when you get it because it's taped directly onto it. And uh, I would say... Other than that, that's what you're getting. That is what you're getting for your dollar. So, um, do I feel like she's worth it? I mean, I really can't say yes or no. I just think it's a nice looking figure. And um, that would be really up more so up to y'all. Because if y'all fans of it, then obviously you want to go with what you like. But I don't have no gripes with it. I just wish it came with a little bit more accessories than she came with. <clears throat> uh, versus just that one bow and arrow. Like... That was kind of weak. But then again, if that's what she used in the game, then I guess that makes sense. So, other than that, hope y'all enjoyed the review. Please continue to collect. Please come through. Check out more reviews. You can like and subscribe. And y'all take care.